smart infrastructure, smart utilities, smart technology and smart communication are the building blocks of tomorrow. The future is smart and the future is here. The year is 2019 and you are witnessing a future ready, sustainable and smart city where culture meets convenience, where ease of doing business is a way of life and where industries can set up and flourish in a short time span. A melting pot of history and culture, this is a city with planned open spaces, clean air, smart governance and the perfect environment to raise a family. Welcome to India's first greenfield smart industrial city, Dhulera. A city at the technological forefront amongst global smart cities designed to be ISO 37120 compliant. Close to Dhulera is the historical site of Lothal. Dhulera extends the vision of this ancient city of Lothal to one of the most advanced cities of the 21st century. Situated in the progressive Indian state of Gujarat, Dhulera is located with extensive external connectivity through air, sea, road and rail. At 920 square kilometers, Dholera's footprint is larger than Singapore. Dholera will be developed in phases over 30 years, starting with an area of 22.5 square kilometers. A city so perfect that people will wonder how it was planned and executed. The answer to that question started taking shape in 2011. After years of detailed and holistic planning, Dholera is set to be operational by 2019. Dhulera's extensive and detailed implementation strategy takes into account several trunk infrastructure projects including portable water, sewage, industrial wastewater, storm water, power to cash in on this opportunity. You will have new ports, you will have new international kind of airports, you will have six or eight lane highways, you will have smart townships, you will have logistic chain, coal storages to uh, cargo handling facilities, you will have uh, maybe um, the uh, air cargo and uh, maintenance facilities for the airships and kind of things. So this, this is going to be a, a tremendous uh, opportunity with, uh, with a huge multiplier effect. Gujarat is all set to speed away on the highway to success. And there is no doubt that the DMIC project would prove to be a big game changer for the states through which it passes. But it's just the first step. Over the next two decades, more than 350 million people are expected to move in from the villages to cities. And projects like DMIC need to be replicated on a much larger scale to cater to the growing demands of employment and housing. So what can be a good starting point for the next leap? After the De Delhi, Mumbai Delhi dedicated freight corridor, the next alignment is already publicly announced and there is work has already moved ahead. It's called the Eastern Corridor from Ludhiana to Calcutta. But other tracks do exist. For example, Chennai, Ch Chennai Bangalore is a logical uh, track. Mumbai Nashik is a logical track. Uh, indoor Bhopal is a logical track. Uh, Calcutta, Durgapur, Asansol is a is a logical track. So there are many such corridor concepts that are uh, that are waiting to happen in the country. Indeed, the future is full of infinite possibilities, and it is important that we capitalize on these opportunities. The DMIC is a good beginning, but a lot still needs to be done on every front. From developing new industrial hubs to regenerating our existing cities. And it is the time to start building for India for the future. As India grows, the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor will be a corridor of opportunity and it will help transform lives and the country that it serves. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.
development project in the world spanning around 920 square kilometers with developable area of approximately 580 square kilometers with all six draft TP schemes notified by government. Dholera SIR is slated for grandeur becoming six times the size of Shanghai. Dholera SIR has best-in-class infrastructure facilities in the form of the biggest international cargo airport of the country, seaport, metro rail connectivity, 75 meters wide internal roads, amazing architectural buildings and much more. Proximity to mega cities like Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Rajkot and Bhavnagar. As an additional benefit, Dholera SIR is in proximate distance from Gujarat International Finance Tech City and petrochemicals and petroleum investment has to play a very active role in, in, in realizing of this dream. Among the challenges of smart city development is land acquisition and the displacement of rural farmers. We need to understand that if somebody is giving up their family wealth in the form of land, which has been tilled by a certain family by, for, for generations, they are giving up everything they have. So um, it is really important that we make them partners in what we are trying to do. Government officials are also pushing back against criticism that India should focus first on providing basic services like electricity and running water to all its citizens before moving ahead with smart cities, saying its plan will benefit all. The time has come for India to do what China has done uh, about two decades ago, which is to leapfrog information and communication technology and smart use of data, of big data.